Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is The Ramble and we go until midnight tonight from New York, New York. Ladies and gentlemen down there in Florida. Oh boy, Florida. I don't know. I, you know, I came, remember when I came back from Florida and how much I hated it? Oh, you hated You were in Miami. Yeah. Miami. And yeah. Now we're in the Panhandle. And it seems to escape some of the Floridian cliches. Like, we get hurricanes, and there have been a couple of bad ones in the last Okay, decade. yeah. But we don't uh, suffer the, the, you know, all the damage. It's been knock on wood, knocking out of right. that chair. Right, right. So, in other words, the culture's a little different up there in the panhandle? Yeah, it's laid back. I mean, people, you know people when you go to a shop, you, call, you know, you call them by name. It's a little like, and we're in uh, a little town, a little kind of boutique town, 17 miles from a major tourist area. Yeah. And I didn't want to live in the tourist area, and I didn't want to live in the other place nearby, which has a militaristic, it's a fort. Um, you know, I just didn't want to live in a militaristic. So did you guys buy a house there then? We did. We Good. did. And uh, it's uh, not, it's like we can carry our kayak to the water. So we, you can you know. carry your kayak to the water. That yeah, is I something mean, that I can't imagine is you in a kayak. Oh, I'll send you a picture to show I'm not lying. Yeah, well, I, it's it's fun. Now, we, we and it's as laid back or as strenuous as you want to be. And, you know, I'm not like the competitive Kennedys. But uh, we got that, and we have a, a wakeboard where you just stand on it. And you can see, see I can't imagine you doing that either. I never knew yeah. you to be athletic. I fish all the time. Actually, I'm a kind of... Oh, you athlete. fish? Oh, yeah. What is this? Is this, is this uh, uh, Lori Thompson 2.0? Right, I guess. I guess because as a child, I fished. I'm kind of returning to some of the things of my oh, youth. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was pretty you athletic. You never used to talk about that on the radio. Otherwise, we would have talked fishing with you. Oh, yeah. And uh, the thing, we had a canoe when I was a kid, and I used to hoist an Awachi top. And I used to hoist it myself onto our station wagon. And uh, so I was about 16, I guess, and tie it up and then take it out to the creeks and really? do the canoe myself. I just take books or something. Okay, somewhere. well, I, that's the Laurie Thompson I never knew because the one I knew was just stoned all the time. <laughs> well, yeah, there's too many versions, too many easier diversions in California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, it, it's uh, uh, it's wonderful, actually, to tell you the truth, uh, you know, that you're doing this kind of thing. Uh, I'm sitting up here in New York with the uh, New York lifestyle slowly killing me, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, there's no reason to go out because what's out there? Pavement. Yes. Oh, yes, which can kill you. Speaking of which, we were in Havar, which is a very cool place in Croatia. If you oh, go. you're dropping Croatian names now to make me feel I, jealous. Well, yes. I remember them like, that's where I got that cool shirt. Or that's where I fell on my face on the way back to the boat. My whole left side was bruised by my face. It took all the impact. And when took I took all the impact from falling? Oh yeah, but it, when I fall, I mean people commented, it's not like a gentle fall. Mm -hmm. It's like and it feels like this. Like someone picked me up by the scruff of the neck and smashed me down on the pavement. Oh. Yeah. And it was so bruised. <laughs> I said Rick Rick, how much are you going to pay me to tell people that you don't hit me? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what happened? I can't talk about this. How can I put this? Marjorie had a certain procedure done on her face, which left a bruise. Oh, 
No, 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 don't say that. She's Botox. very mad. I no, I, I absolutely deny that she has wife, any Botox. Your wife doesn't, but I do. Actually, if she had to do Botox, they would have to bring, bring the truck up to the house, you know, and it would like be pumped out like gasoline. Into her I was, face. I just want a big enough co container to bathe in. But anyway, you know, the boat. she's got this bruise right here, and every time she gets a bruise of one sort or another, I just get I get this horrible feeling that people are going to think I was responsible for it. Yeah. Well, it's um, get this. Um, I I fell once before when I was in Mississippi. There was a I was going up some stairs, and I don't think these stairs were up to code, frankly. But um, I started. <laughs> And I was wearing Are you two clumsy? Socks. Is this something I didn't know about I, you? You know, I don't think so, but I uh, I had tube socks on and it was a wooden <laughs> All the, those dangerous tube socks. Right. The <laughs> tube socks can kill. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> more at eleven. And so I started to slide and I grabbed this hall tree, which was nearby, mm -hmm. and before thinking, oh, that's you know a stable thing. Of course, hall trees aren't stable at all. I yanked down, and it gave me like this. First of all, it was up here, so I knew enough to put ice on it. Ice is so great, so I did. I just put ice on it for like an hour and a half, and what it did was drive the bruise down and gave me two pronounced black eyes. Oh, great. And, oh, wonderful! And then your husband walks down the street with you, and they're all staring at him. Yeah, well, I wasn't married at the time, but I was going to AA meetings, and of course, the natural assumption when you're AA was, oh, you're drinking you, again. You're, yeah, drinking you're drinking again, and you got you know beat up in an argument when you were drunk, and so I would you know I wore and I thought, well, I'll just wear sunglasses. Who wears sunglasses indoors at an AA meeting? <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell them what happened. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah, but, um, um. um Marjorie, once she fell and did something, and she really got bruised up, and it, and it, I didn't want to be seen with her, you know. Really? Ma mainly, it, mainly not because I I didn't like the way she looked, although it was kind of interesting. Mine was grizzly. <laughs> you know, but it, not that it wasn't grizzly, but uh, uh, I didn't want people thinking I did it. Exactly. You know? Then I can see where men have that very. Uh, I would say. Now here's the sexism in it all. When, uh, when a guy walks down the street and he's bruised up in his face, nobody thinks yep. his wife beat him. No. They always think the guy beat him. And true. believe me, I've known I've I've known women who were that abusive. You know. Oh yeah. Well, some couples get off on it. Not. It, I know. I know. There's a scene in The Perfect Storm where Mark Wahlberg is in a couple and one of their things is to beat themselves. Uh, Diane Lane plays his uh, fiance and they like beating each other up. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, you know, I, I understand that there's a certain thing, uh, S&M play and things like that, but that's play and you it's under a controlled circumstance. I mean, suddenly getting into an argument where you want to beat the crap out of your mate is a little sick. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't believe in physical violence. I'll tell you, any when I was a kid, we lived up on the hill in Marin County in San Anselmo, and next to us was a house that was also up on the hill and it had a bunch of stone steps that led down to the, down to the street. Um, I don't know, my, the number of steps that went up to our place was, I think, 77 steps. I don't know how many concrete steps there were there, but one night we hear this whole thing, and the, the husband, I think it was, took the wife and threw her down the flight of stairs. Oh, my Lord. To where she wound up in the hospital. She was all bruised and everything. And after it was all over... And I remember this as a kid because my parents were always commenting on it. You know, like, how can she do that? You know, once she gets out of the hospital, she shouldn't go back there. You know, what did she do? She went back, went back there. Well, you know, because in those, in that era, in some eras, the woman had no choice. What was she, where would she live? Well, you know, I think, I think we she, even offered that she could stay at our place. And she yep. didn't take up on the offer. 
Well, the transition is, I think some people are just not equipped to not have someone to rely on, you know, and uh, that's, you know, for, I was raised with a very, well, very independent freak as a girl. Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah. but I mean, there are women who go, well, I can change him. Yeah, uh -uh. I don't, no, I don't know that that's uh, a thinking as much as what else am I going to do? But I'll tell you what's worse. What's worse is there are guys in this world who have wives who beat the crap out of them. I know. And guys will never complain about it. They will never tell anybody because they're ashamed of it. Right. Where women right. have a different reason for not telling anybody or not doing it. Guys, if they are getting abused by the woman, uh, and I know some of you are thinking, how can they be abused by the woman? Hey. Listen, I'm not a strapping guy. If a woman wants to beat the crap out of me, she can. Well, I don't want her to, but she can. Um, you know, but uh, uh, guys always had a hard time uh, getting around something like that because it was a male just didn't let a woman beat him up. Yeah, you know. I think shame has a large uh, impact on some of the worst decisions we make. I'll tell you, I've been beaten up by women only because... My father, who was a real gentleman, said, you never, ever hit a woman. Okay, so I grew up with that whole thing, you never hit a woman. Uh, unless, of course, you're in uh, Norway and you're there with your, uh, your newswoman and uh, somebody thinks you did. Uh, <laughs> you remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. It was like... Oh, oh, that was just... <laughs> But uh, that was a case where I, as a guy, I became radicalized towards being a guy from that incident. Because, really? yeah, what it was quickly for the people out there don't know what we're talking about. We were, we were yeah, at the we, Olympics, we, we were doing shows at the Olympics, and they put us in different rooms at, in, in, in uh, Lillehammer. And, uh, they thought you were hitting me. What? And they thought you were hitting me, which well, was well, no, total... What happened was you were staying with a woman who, yeah. uh, you came out and we had a fight and we we're yelling at each other because no, I, I, I was running late and I was getting ready and I, you know, and, but people didn't realize how we banter, you know, how we banter. Yeah. And she had, she was very much a feminist, but she totally, for a news person, yeah. uh, misinterpreted the whole thing. Well, what thing. happened was what she heard outside, I think at one point I clapped my hands or hit my fist when I was talking to you. Yeah, and, or maybe just yeah. might have been like we're telling a story. Yeah, and so the next day, I go into the Coca-Cola uh, studios, and I am cornered by the Coca-Cola police. <laughs> the Coca <laughs> I'm literally arrested by the. I mean, I have a uh, in my life. I can in my uh, resume I can put down arrested by Coca-Cola police Ooh. and they take me down to the basement and I said what's this about and they said well we heard that last yeah. night you hit Lori Thompson and see that was I mean to me that was the most bizarre thing ever because that's the last thing I would do the last thing I would do we never had I, and I thought and the reason that, we the reason we were fighting in Grouchy that night is we had been stopped at the airport and I had been frisked and everything like that by the because it was yeah. the trip from hell remember you just broken up with your girlfriend we had you paid a taxi driver we weren't going to make our flight which had already been postponed to several times I mean where we had to wait at home by the phone and so you and we weren't going to make our flight it was all the way on the other side of the airport so you paid a taxi driver rather than mess with those people mover things which weren't going to do it for us you paid a taxi driver to drive us to the other side of the airport yeah yeah but, but, it, but it was it was just a miserable flight and so that night she and i had an argument okay i don't know what it what? was about it was just grouchy you know it's and, probably about whether we were going to have dinner but I anyway mean, they said, well, her roommate said you hit her. And, and I no went, way. what? And they said, we're going to have to wait for Lori to come in to have her confirm this. Like it was for real. They were getting ready. I think they already had my ticket ready to send me home. You know? Yeah. And you come into work, and they take, bring you down uh, into another room. And they <laughs> ask you, uh, did Alex hit you last night? And you said, what? 
because we had gone to dinner then and had a wonderful time and decompressed and just had a good time. It was the weirdest thing ever for me. I mean, it was just. Yeah, I know. And and, uh, and so she said no. And they finally, they came down. They said, Lori said, no, you did not hit her. So you can go back up and do your show. And uh, I don't know if they apologized or not, but they were getting very apologetic because they smelled lawsuit. You know. Oh, you know, okay. Because, yeah. It, that was it, yeah. I mean, I just said, no, I would never, I would never hit her. What? Are you out of your mind? That, so that, this woman had said, I hit you. So they sent her home. You remember? Oh, they, they were, I don't that part, but yeah. I remember home, this whole scenario uh, that didn't happen out of a one, one side, she couldn't see us. She just heard us. Yeah. That's like when Marvin Gaye says, believe half of what you see, some are none of what you hear. Yeah, and because like it would it would be like um, you know uh, the person you who we're talking to uh, being hauled in suddenly with a knock on your door by police for murdering somebody in a distant city. It it was that weird. Well, it was, if anything radicalized me about male empowerment and male uh, problems that males have, it's just that exact thing that I, it was easily believed because I was a male that I may have hit you. Well, see, and I don't understand this politicization, pol what, politicization yeah. of, uh, whatever that word is, um, of gender. I mean, I think there should be unisex bathrooms all over the place. We have them in our homes. Oh, it, it, all bathrooms should be unisex because yes. like, for instance, you ever go to a movie theater and the movie lets out, and if I want to go to the bathroom, I just walk in to go to the bathroom. You have to wait in a line to get into right. that women's room. That's why I think all theaters, by law, should be forced to make, if they're going to have a women's room, it should be twice as big as a men's room. Right. I just think unisex all the way because, you know, otherwise if a movie advertised Titanic, it was like, are they talking about the movie or the length of the line after the movie for women? Yeah. It I was mean, just it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. And 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 so therefore, uh, I, I don't know why, you know, what? We don't want to see women's vaginas. We're not going to see them because women are going into the stalls. They're not right. They're not going to the urinals. Right. You know? well, and what you do is you do away with the urinals and you make it nothing but stalls. That's it. And do you know how it would cut down on uh, pedophilia, I think? Because, you know, a little boy who's like, what, five, he stops going in. His mother stops going in with him. You yes, know. right. Yeah. After right. it would cut down on that, I think, indirectly. And unisex bathrooms, to me, are the We have solved one of the biggest problems in the world. <laughs> all, you know, I know, all of the days work No, but you're, you're absolutely right. And I, I think we should do away with the urinals. I, I never use the urinal anyway. I don't want some guy next to me. Uh, <laughs> peeing and then maybe turning around while he's peeing. Oh, you're Alex Bennett. You know, I mean, you yeah, know, it's then, not a desire of yours. Yeah, it's yeah. not a desire of mine. So I always went to the. I always went to the stall. Yeah, and I'm not. A, I'm not a super modest person. Like, uh, if there's there's one, if I'm in a stall and the lock's funky, mm -hmm. I just do my best and then get ready to say, um, "I'll be out in a minute." That's what I always say. I'll be out in a minute. But you know Let's something, I'm, I was, it's really uh, terrific, but I, uh, I, I have become a connoisseur of the stall. And the <laughs> stall I always go for is the wheelchair access stall because you know, it's I, roomy. It's roomy. It is roomy, but I struggle with it because, like, what if there's, I mean, and I, I can qualify now, you know, as one of those, I guess, can we qualify as elderly? I don't know. But, uh, I used to use those. Now I hesitate to because I've seen people in genuine like wheelchairs, you know. In <laughs> genuine wheelchairs? What? You, there are they're <laughs> not they're ungenuine wheelchairs. You're right. <laughs> they were flooding the market for a while. Big wheelchairs. <laughs> they just sat down and people laughed. <laughs> well, I have but, a, I have this friend Patrick and he is a paraplegic. Uh, and he, uh, I asked him once, I said, I like using the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, stall? The uh, uh, regular? The handicap stall. Yeah. yeah. Or the, handi the handicapable stall. That's it. Uh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Well, there, 
Yeah, because I mean that I struggle with, so I usually yeah. use this. Yeah, stuff. so I said I like to use it. I said, do you mind as somebody who is wheelchair bound? And he said, no. But if yeah. I knock on the door and say I'm in a wheelchair and I got to use the uh, stall, you just hurry up and finish and let me in. You know. Now that yeah, that's how two confident people would deal with it. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm always like I've got. To well, there's no hyper- there's no law that I can't use the handicapped stall. It's only, no. it's only there for the occasional handicapped person who will come in to the yeah. store. Yeah. You know? Well, it, and see, an urgency, too. <laughs> if that's a handicap. <laughs> like, if you got a wee and it becomes to, down to a, a measure of, am well, I going to go at Yeah, I've got to say, this is, the, this is the difference between men and women. There is a difference, <laughs> folks. I've figured that oh. one out. Uh, <laughs> Women, when they have to pee, can't hold it. No, not it's, especially if you have low sodium. You can't hold it. You can't. You just, it, it, women cannot hold it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. In fact, I had a yeah. wife that once I had to stop by the side of the road so she could run off to the side of the road and pee because she couldn't wait to get to a bathroom. <laughs> Wildlife portion of our program. Yeah. And, so. Yeah, and we, you just can tie yours in a knot. Well, no, that's mean, not it. That's not it. But what we can do, if worse comes to worse, we have the advantage of being able to urinate out of a moving car. That's true. That's, an, <laughs> that's an, Not only that, but every living person, every person walking around that you see, yeah. represents yeah. male or I don't think that, you know, what about the woman? Did she have one too? To me, reproduction should only occur if both people reach the mountain peak and have an O. Then, Wouldn't it be horrible if you if you got pregnant from an incident where you didn't have an orgasm? Yeah. Yeah, I it, it should have been worth it because you then got yeah. to put up with this brat for the next 21 years. So if we could gene splice so that that's a rule. That's a only, rule, yeah. You know, we'd have you know to if, if people, if you people out there would just let Lori and I run the world, we'd oh. solve all the problems. Right, and you can take the rest of the day off, and we'll just sit here solving your problems all before noon, and yep. then and have fun. Yeah, Good yeah, to- yeah. Uh-huh. So it, 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 we, I think we've just solved the world's problems. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel good. I yeah, exhilarated. but I mean, women it, women have no ability to uh, to hold it, it and, and I understand why. It's the way the plumbing is created, and and it's uh, yeah. you know, um, but uh, like for instance, we <laughs> it's funny, you know. Every time I go to the bathroom to use it, my wife's in there, <laughs> you know. She, we have this timing, that, <laughs> you know. So go use use the other. We have two toilets, so well there you go. Yeah. It's all. Probably. Yeah, and then we can knock on the wall to each other because it's right on the other one is right on the other side of the other one. So. Oh, well, that's handy. So well, we, that when you hear noises, could be you. Yeah, well, we have what's called a powder room. In other words, powder rooms don't have don't have showers. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they had those in some. Uh, a friend of mine had those. The first one I encountered, it was mm-hmm. we went to see a boyfriend's grandmother. And she had one of those with the pole thing, mm-hmm. uh, like in a it was only a toilet in a room. Right. And it was a yeah. Right. Well, we have a toilet and a sink, and you know that's it. Yeah. You know, it's a powder room. They call them powder rooms. I you know how I found out because I yeah. watch all these things on YouTube with people showing very fancy houses and oh, apartments yeah. and things like that, and they say, and then they, we have a powder room, and then we have a full bathroom here, you know, with the shower and everything. New York architecture and real estate is a uh, man. It's an animal all to its own. Because I was watching, you know, just reading them. I, you know, I can read some of those ads for like condos um, and go, what are they talking about? You know, what pre-war, you know, pre-war means high season. Oh, and then we have we also have rent stabilized apartments as opposed to non-stabilized and. Uh, rent controlled is an old one that doesn't yeah. exist anymore. But people who have rent controlled apartments are living the good life because mm-hmm. they can actually will that apartment to a relative. Really? Yes. Yeah. Great coup. Uh, the, you know, and the rent in those things goes back a great deal. So that maybe you know, in an apartment house like this, they're like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars, and nothing much. You know. Wow. Yeah, because, I mean, I've looked at some of those videos, 
And uh, it's amazing what you can and can't get for three hundred thousand dollars in New York. Oh, you yeah. can't get anything for three hundred thousand no. dollars in New York. Are you kidding? Right. Me? Hey, Not listen. Unless- I just yeah. looked, you know, I, I enjoy these so much because so, so it's exactly people. what we used to do. On, this is what we'd be doing if we were doing a radio show in the morning. We'd yes. be going into just this same kind of discussion that we're having here. And, yeah, uh, so fun. Lo- so last fun. week we learned the difference between Stuckies and Buckies. Very and, important. And this week we learned everything we want to know about women's plumbing. So. Yeah, <laughs> and the only generalization that I have found that applies is that men tend to leave cabinets open when they're making something. Really, we do that. Yeah. You know, you may be right. You may be yeah. right. Check that. Uh, Check that well, I'll make sure I cl- uh, we. And, but we. You know what I've learned to do? Uh, we're running over a little bit here. I I put. Uh, I always when I'm through using it, put the toilet seat down. That's nice. She's bullied me into that one. <laughs> you mean the rim part, not the cover. Not the cover, no. No, because I don't like that when the cover's down. It's like you go to sit down and it's like, whoa, I just like hurt my tailbone. <laughs> yeah, <I> expect- <laughs> you expect the hole there. Anyway, hey, listen, let's do this again next week, okay? Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's our favorite woman who isn't my wife, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Laurie Thompson. Thanks, Laurie. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Got to turn the lights on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Lights, everybody. Action, camera, whatever. Fuck it. Nothing works anymore. <laughs> I mean, literally, nothing works anymore. So, Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, let me see here. I'm, uh, I've got my coffee over there. I've got my soda here. See, there, there we go. I don't ever, I don't ever buy g- uh, green soda because if I did green soda with this green screen, it would just screw everything up. So, hmm. Always various shades of, of, uh, of raspberry and purple and berry. This is berry lemonade I'm drinking in case you want to know what I'm drinking. There's only one person waiting online, but he's a quality person, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let me see, let's bring him in here, okay? There, wait a minute, where is he? Oh, come on, I, I, I hit this, oops, I gotta get rid of, <laughs> see, I leave things, I forget, there's always something I forget to do, okay? And so, you see what you got down there? You got Chuck Farnham, right? Well, I got to get rid of that. Uh, oh, yeah, please. I'm not Chuck Farnham. You're not Chuck Farnham. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're fine now. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Just want to make sure that we were fine. You know. How you doing, uh, Brian Neary? I'm doing good. Yeah. Here comes uh, Jeff Stein. And this is our show for tonight, folks. That's it. I'm just stand here. Yeah. Stare at everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Now we uh so we have a Monterey Car Week is this week. So I take the week off of work and then head down there. So I was down there today. Um they have the a Tour de Elegance, so Pebble Beach. They have a start finish line and they had they have about about forty or fifty cars that are in the concourse of elegance on Sunday. They get extra points to do the tour, so they do a tour seventeen mile drive. And so they start there at uh, 7 o'clock. They start lining up 7 a.m. and then 9 a.m. they leave. So it's cool to see all these like 1930s, you know, Rolls Royces and uh, Mercedes and, and all these cars drive. So, so it's but does a, what is, anybody win something with this? I mean, uh, Sunday. Sunday's the big show. And then they have, yeah, they have the winner there. There is a prize. Yeah, they have all the classes and then they have the, the main event stuff. So. Yeah, so I, I went there and did a lot of GoPro stuff. So I'm just editing it now. It took a couple hundred pictures already today. So Oh, that's good. Sounds like you had fun. Yeah, yeah. it's a blast. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. Right? And you're going to have fun again tomorrow, I would imagine. Yeah, tomorrow and this Saturday, there's a bunch of us that are going to do a drive from Gilroy down to Monterey. 
and that's got we have about four million dollars worth of cars in that that group it's pretty really? crazy <laughs> yeah there's a lot of guys going it's <clears throat> a big shop prestigious shop around here that's putting it on so it's there's a bunch of cars going so so that'll be fun and then sunday's the at pebble beach so you know alex you know pebble beach, pebble beach is a golf course right on the cliffs and you know, around the water right. there monterey and so they have cars literally backed up to the edge you know of, of the, the lined up and all around the pebble beach golf course so it's a really beautiful area real nice show wow so sounds like you're gonna have your week cut and you can do the weekend too right yep yep wow that's really nice that's really nice i'm just trying to get my lighting right here for some reason i'm i don't my have my lighting is like red but i guess i got some sun today yeah well you had sun of course <laughs> anyway and uh, hello jeff how are you good how are you doing today? Oh, I'm, do I'm doing okay you know I, it's everything i've decided in my life is shit. <laughs> You know, I, Except do, us. I do believe what Sean Connery said, that somebody said to him, that life is is great, and then the last third is shit. Okay. Um, just No, it's just one thing after another. It's just one thing after another. And, um, you know, last night I was telling you I was having trouble with... Uh, uh, it's just... And it's not, it's not stuff that's really important you know that's right but uh it's stuff you know it i have to go get lawyers for mm -hmm. right now what happened to me today okay i want to tell everybody do not buy an hp printer all right <laughs> oops you know where i'm going with this one yeah i made the same uh, mistake yeah if you do buy an hp printer and it says hey you know if you want to get uh, certain benefits of your owning this wonderful piece of machinery just uh, become part of our hp plus so you join yeah, it. it's free and everything like that thing. but as soon as you join the hp plus something in your machine says none of your uh, no other cartridges besides ours will work yep. <laughs> okay now they don't tell you this before you click that button did, did they with yours no nope you know and you're stuck. I have a simple solution. What's that? Uh, they add another year guaranteed to my printer, and at 24 months, I'll buy a new printer. They're only a couple hundred dollars on Amazon. Well, what I'm thinking of doing uh, tomorrow, it, well, anyway, so so I I had bought some uh, uh, some ink cartridges that I thought were compatible, so I had a black one go out, and I put it in. It says incompatible with our machine yeah <laughs> lovely incompatible with our machine okay well then i will order some more that are compatible and there was this one company that said if you if you're registered with this thing don't worry our cartridges will still work all right ah. so i order it and mind you i don't have a working printer right now because i need a black ink cartridge all right Yes. And I don't want to buy the HPs. I don't want to give them that satisfaction. So <laughs> I I order these that say <clears throat> we even work with the with the with the plus ones that are registered to the <clears throat> plus and all that. And I go, you you know, zippity doo dah. That's what I want. All right. So I order them to come here today. So they get here today, but somehow you know, if you heard of this company Laser Ship, they're the worst in the business. In fact, they were the ones that one of their drivers literally physically threatened me once. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I uh, uh, I don't like laser ship, but it was coming laser ship. They come to the door. They can't, they can't figure out how to get in. They don't know <laughs> how to ring 8i, okay? So now I'm not getting my, my, my printer ink for another day. You know, maybe I want to print some stuff up, right? right. Uh, so I then call Amazon, and I, you can't get a hold of Laser Ship. They, mm -hmm. they, they're, they're most of these companies you can't even get a hold of anymore. You can really. go online, you can ask them a question, you can make a complaint, but none of them 
or to have a human being that you can go, hey, can you please help me? Why, sure, I'd be glad to. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. So I, uh, I, I go out and I, uh, I, I, I can't, you know, I'm really mad about this thing. And I call up Amazon and they're no help, you know. Uh, but it'll be delivered tomorrow. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to wait until tomorrow. So I'm figuring, you figure that's the end of it, right? As mm -hmm. soon as I am through on the phone with, uh, with, with them, I get a thing from the company that makes the ink. All right? Here's what it says. Thank you for your support and your business order, blah, 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 blah. We're writing to inform you that a firmware update for your printer may prevent you from using our compatible cartridges. Oh, yep. oh wow. <laughs> Therefore, make sure that compatible issues occur when using your products. We strongly recommend you turn off uh, the automatic updates. Yep. Our products are covered by a two-year warranty, so feel free to reach out with further questions. This means that eventually I'm going to have to go down uh, to either to UPS and ship the thing back to these people or whatever. Yep. But all of a sudden, you're sending me a letter after I've ordered the damn thing? Yep. Rather than say... This guy just ordered this. We better send him this and see if he still wants it when he knows this. The Federal Wouldn't Trade that... Commission. Huh? Nah. The Federal Trade Commission oh, look, is suing that. HP. Forget that they are suing HP? Yeah, they're suing him for this because Ooh. when you get the HP Plus, it doesn't tell you you're not going to be able to use other cartridges. It just says we're going to add another year and you pay $6 a month and we'll supply your ink for you. For well, that's the deal. They want you to right. buy their... But, their, but oh. they need to tell people that if you do this, you'll never be able to install another cartridge. No, no they should uh, They should make it so they can't do that. Right. You well, know. I don't know. Some kind of and give us a good reason why we should use their ink cartridge system because, quite frankly, it looks more expensive than when I buy the normal ink. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's that kind of crap that I'm putting up with today. You know, and, uh, uh, you know, then I'm arguing with my lawyer about this whole situation that I talked about last night, uh, in which I'm trying to get both he and my business manager to understand that when a guy has $4,200 of mine, he has $4,200 of mine. He doesn't suddenly own it because I, in fact, I saw a letter that the guy wrote me during this whole thing going down saying, well, not giving me the other 4200 that's pretty cheap. I went, what? He says, you're not entitled to anything. You didn't pay rent for so many years. Well, it had nothing oh, to do with him. Yeah. It was in spite of him. You know, and, and the, the audacity, the temer temerity uh, to have that kind of attitude, like, uh, hey, the world owes you a living. Come on, mm -hmm. 4200 um, bucks. I, all I said was, Here's you. We owe you seventy-five thousand. Here's seventy-eight hundred, and the other forty-two hundred you already have. All right. So just apply that to the final amount. Does that make sense? Yep. Either that, or if you really want to be stupid, uh, send me a check for forty-two hundred dollars, and I'll send you a check for forty-two hundred dollars. That's really stupid. Uh -huh. But this guy feels like he got cheated, and if well, I give him, right. if I give him forty two hundred dollars now, I will have not paid him seventy five thousand, but seventy nine thousand two hundred. All right, and he still got that other money of mine. So it's it, so, but so if it were as easy as saying that and and uh, making people say, oh, okay, that makes sense, that would be one thing, but no, this guy isn't going to do that. And in the meantime, the clock is going on the lawyers, mm -hmm. you know? And I just, you know, uh, I'm coming into a whole bunch of what I call fuck you money in a couple of months, okay? Uh, a lot of it. But I don't want to spend it on lawyers, you know? I, I like to spend it on Marjorie and me going on vacations and, and uh, doing stuff, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, it isn't about the money. It's about the principle of it all. And why people like it can't be decent. Why our landlords can't be decent. 
you know, why everybody wants to take advantage of somebody else. I don't understand it. it makes no sense to me. So my whole life is is uh, it, it been besieged by that. Mm. And what I've decided I'm probably going to do is I'm not going to have anything to do with any of this. I told Marjorie, you, you want to handle it, you handle it. I don't want to <clears> talk <throat> to the lawyers. I don't want to talk to anybody about this. It's, it's just it, it, robbing me of sleep at night. I don't want to worry about it. Just let me know how it turns out and if we have to move out or something, you know. But I said, I don't want to have anything to do with it. And I said, if I had my way, I'd actually give up this apartment. I'm just so sick of the, of the, mm. of the, of the problems we have in trying to keep mm. this apartment. You know, it's, it's, it makes me ill. And I don't, I don't, I just don't deserve this. I didn't do anything to anybody, you know? So, what the hell? You know, jerks will be jerks. So, everybody's well, greedy. Huh? Yeah, well, everybody's greedy. And everybody's yeah. mean today, <clears throat> you know? Everybody's so mean. And uh, I, I just, I, I don't understand it, you know? Hey, you've got 42. Don't let them wear you down. You got 4,200 bucks of mine. I'm sorry. He, just use it and apply it and add it to this other, and it comes out to seventy-five thousand. And I won't hit you up for it. And you can, you know, you have the money. He probably spent it already. He probably didn't even put it in escrow, which he's supposed to do. And he's wow. not entitled to keep that money in New York. If it's a security deposit, you have to put it in an interest-bearing escrow account. And you then when the person California. moves out, you not only send them the original amount, but the original amount plus the interest. He's California not entitled to it on any other level, you know? Hmm. It's not his money. It's my money, but I'm guaranteeing I'm not going to destroy your apartment. But no, he can. I, I think he went out and spent it, and he just didn't want to have to pay it back. So yeah. I gave him a way of getting out of it, you know? Just here's your, here's seven, you know, 70800 and, you know, the rest is, uh, is you already have. He's not. He hasn't lost a penny. So I mean, so I have, huh? what'd you say? I have, prop, I have property managers that manage my rentals here, and in California, it's the same thing. They have to take that deposit, put it in an interest-bearing account that doesn't pay, but you know, yeah. half a percent or something, but or less. Mm -hmm. And when the tenants, tenants move out, they have to pay them back that plus whatever interest. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it's not yours to do with what you want to do with it. You can't say at the end of it, well, I don't feel like giving it back to you because you had a low enough rent anyway. You know? That's essentially what he's saying. You know? But, uh, so, uh, but it, it's just one thing after another, and I'm tired of it. I'm just exhausted. Yep. You know? And uh, at my age, I can't put up with this. You can't let them wear you down. Yeah. I don't know. Nobody well, seems to care about anybody anymore, you know? No nope. customers or why, anything. Why can't we all be nice? You know? Uh -huh. I mean, I, I don't understand Republicans who try to take away, do things like take away Social Security or something. Why? Why do you have to be that mean that you want to do that? What advantage mm -hmm. is it to you? If I get disadvantages it to you, if I get Social Security or I get Medicare. But people we complain. paid into it all the years that we were working. Oh, well, that that uh, they can't take that away because it's our money. You know, That's right. it's our cash. Uh, hmm. So anyway, be that as it may, how are you guys doing tonight? Hmm. Hmm. Not as busy as Jeff. Mm. So I, I buy an eco tank printer. Buy an eco tank. Well, that's printer. what it, I, I'm thinking of buying. I think Do buying it. one and then taking this HP printer. Which you won't is, buy ink for two years. Well, this thing is. I'm thinking of taking this thing, and I, I, let's see how many. I'm eight stories high up here. Get a get a video camera and take a picture get, of it falling. Dropping it out the window. Okay. That's what I did with mine. This yeah, thing right here has lasted me almost two years. Really? And it's still half full. Yeah, and that's the one you got with it, right? No, I bought, after two years, I bought one of these, and it's 15 bucks, and it's half full. And wow. then my 
my printer is still half full, wow. and I got a kid here that prints every freaking night books. I swear to God, the thing is great. It's the best thing I ever did. The printers are a couple hundred bucks more, but you don't pay for ink. Yeah, I saw that how much they cost. It costs close to four hundred <clears throat> if you want the one like I the comparable. The one that's one decent one was three six. This one was three sixty nine. Yeah, when I bought it. Yeah. You can find them on sale. They're four hundred, three hundred. Uh, well, I can go down. I can go down to um, Costco, and they have them at, at about that price. Yeah, I got ours at Staples, and it was on sale. We found a you know coupon somewhere, and it was like three sixty. I've got a lot of these checks from Costco that I've never cashed, so oh, I don't, wow. you know, so I'm gonna send them our way. Yeah, <laughs> but it's the best thing I ever did. I hated those printer. Because I used to do the same thing you did. I'd buy them or I'd take them in and I'd get them injected with ink. And the, and the printer would kick them back and say, well, you're out of ink. Or we don't accept it. And I'd force the thing through. And well, I'd force it to take the damn ink. I can't remember yeah. what kind I had last. But I could use any of the second mm. tier ink cartridges, which I didn't mind doing. And they were, well, they HP were, has programmed their shit not to take it. Right. HP contract. Yep. That plus yeah. the plan. I've got to use HP cartridges that they sent. Me. What are they? Are they are they send you the cartridges? Yeah, I'm on. The, I pay six dollars and sixty cents a month, uh, based on a hundred or a hundred and fifty pages. I got to pay for the paper. But then when you run low, it it tells them, and they automatically send you new cartridges and a recycle bag. Which they. Now, that was the other part is recycling the damn thing. Oh, do too. you have to recycle them? You don't have to, but I believe in recycling. It's the right thing to do, yeah. yeah. It's the right thing to do, but the hell of it. <laughs> what, what, what printer do you have? Do you know the model number? What, mine? Yeah. Let's see, 9118 or something like that. 9118, yeah, it uses these uh, 962 cartridges, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get any free ones. Oh, oh here's free. the best part. I then go on to Amazon. To buy the ink cartridges from HP, yeah. and they can't deliver them for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking is to it myself, back ordered because everybody else is buying them. No, no, no. <laughs> I I know exactly what's happening. HP isn't supplying a lot of them because they want you to go do their little thing with the uh, <clears throat> uh, with the with the mail-in stuff. Subscription. Costco yeah. actually has the set of all. What, what everybody froze oh, more of these for like 79 bucks the that genuine HP kill me. cartridges and they work let's see these yeah well 15, you got one two three four of them 15 bucks a piece four times 15 whatever that is and it lasts you how many years 60 bucks a couple years yeah. yeah well sounds good to way me. to go sounds good to me yeah it's an et4750 Really? 4750 Epson. Really? Yeah. Is there a drugstore right up the street from you, Alex? What do you mean, is there a drugstore? Yeah, because a lot of these drugstores have printers. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. <laughs> Say it. Why doesn't he, why don't Jeff, why don't you just send him one of those big laser printers that stands four feet tall in his front room? <laughs> Everybody has gone through that bullshit with this. Uh, yeah. Well, I oh, just yeah. you know, problems. I think that it's that kind of merchandising too that bothers the shit out of me. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, that's you know. used to drive me nuts. I mean, it, 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 ever and since and they run out right when you need something too. Well, the first people that I remember that did that kind of something like that was Adobe. When they went to a system where in order to get a program like Adobe Photoshop, you had to pay a certain amount uh, a month. Subscription, yeah. A month. They went to a subscription model. Yep. And everybody was saying, oh, they're going to go out of business. That's not going to work. Bullshit. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, no. well, yeah, look at what, Microsoft Office 365. It's a, a subscription, too. Yeah, that, that's, and, only 200, that's only 100 a year. Really? Yeah. That's all? Yeah. yeah. But... But Adobe, uh, here's how they get you. If I want to get Photoshop, it's $20 a month, okay? If I want to get Photoshop and um, uh, let's say uh, <clears throat> the audio system, okay? It's not like it's now 40. 
No, you can't get anything except the one or everything. And it's so like I pay fifty six dollars a month, you know, to get Photoshop basically and the audio program and the, and the video video editing. But Bill's I just, probably I just, got all of them. Ask him for copies. I, no, he doesn't have copies of it. There's no such thing as having. It's a all copy. web based now. It's all oh, web based. Oh, 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 it has oh. to. It has to. Every time you're using it, uh, I, I it has realize. to go online to see if you're okay by them, and then it only allows you so many machines at a time, like two machines at a time. So if I have Marjorie has a whole bunch of things, I Photoshop, she has Photoshop, and my other machine has Photoshop, I gotta take it off one of them for it to work on the other oh ones. Oh my God. You know, yeah. so they, but they were the first ones I remember that really tried some kind of model like that. Now everybody uses that model. Uh, well, you don't have to use Microsoft Office. You can use one of the, not one of the other ones and uh, it doesn't cost anything. It's freeware. I use LibreOffice, L-I-R-B-E Office. It's freeware. It'll open well, I, everything. Well, I see. I consider I consider a hundred dollars a year pretty reasonable. I didn't realize it was so cheap. I'll I'll probably switch over. To and Microsoft. you get uh, you get what, what? Let's see here. What do I get for you that? You get Excel. You get well. You get, Outlook, you get, you get all PowerPoint. Stuff. Yeah, all you, those. You get Excel. <laughs> uh, you get Word. Okay. You get uh, Word, uh, you get uh, uh, PowerPoint. PowerPoint, yeah. You get it says N here. I don't know what that is. Uh, OneNote, what is that? It's just like notes and Excel. In Apple. Well, the only two, the one that I really use is Microsoft Word. Right. You know, but I, I can't. I, I can't just buy Word and use it all the time. You know, I got to buy all of them at the same time. I use Word and Excel. That's it. But it's not that expensive that it bothers me, you know. Okay. Yeah, and then but, Adobe does that thing with Reader. Yeah, you you can use one thing a Reader, but if you want to do anything like edit or anything like that on Reader, then you got to pay. Really? Because yeah. uh, the thing is, the that, Reader's free. Beyond that is money. Yeah, but but I'll tell you what costs. Um, you know, it, it's. Uh, what was I going to say? I was talking about they were talking about that, and I was talking about Microsoft, this. Microsoft, Microsoft Office, and I was talking about Adobe. Adobe, I'm paying, God, probably six hundred dollars a year for all of it. Oh shit! You know, it used to be you. However, remember what it used to cost? Like if you bought Photoshop, it wasn't like a forty-nine bucks or something. No, no. Photoshop was. I don't remember. I never Photoshop used it. was three hundred. In other yeah, words, you got all the discs, right? Well, there was one disc, oh, but you, okay. Photoshop was. And then if you got if you got it the next year, because you already had it, you could get the new one cheaper. But you would have to put in the old disc to prove that you have the old disc and blah 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 blah. You know, but they really in. Yeah, but then they they dropped all that and they just went to the. Uh, subscription model so you know what the hell you the know. thing i don't like about the subscription model is it's in the cloud and no this is a, a, a photoshop isn't in the cloud i mean what's in the cloud is no, your permission no, I, I meant office microsoft office 365 <laughs> is in the cloud well not uh no i, I have all the programs here oh, I have really? all, all of them are as apps yeah okay. they're apps yeah Good. Uh, but it has to go to the cloud to say you're okay by us or you don't have it on four machines or whatever. That's what the cloud does. So it, 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 I, I, hate, I hate the cloud. Okay, well, I hate IMAX. Okay, and now I hate the cloud. All right, I'm just an old fart. All right, but what I don't like about the cloud is I'm, one day I'm sitting here, I've got... Um, uh, what do you call it? What's that the, the, the thing I'm trying to remember? I have to go here and see the name of it. It's, uh, oh yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Dropbox. All right. So if Dropbox is, you know, it's okay, you know, but if I don't want it anymore, the program that is keeping on the, up in the cloud no longer appear on my machine. Now there's a way of getting them back, but I don't know exactly how you do that, all right? And I don't want to take the chance. But the thing I noticed the other day 
was that I have all these programs, but all the stuff that's on my desktop is on, uh, oh, what do you call it? What was I just calling it? Jeez almighty. I'm uh, Dropbox. You get what I'm saying? So all the stuff on my desktop is on Dropbox. That is on the cloud because I don't want to keep it on my machine because this way I don't have a lot of stuff. I have a limited amount of real estate on my SSD. You know, it's like uh, uh, one terabyte, okay? Um, and so I don't want to just completely uh, uh, put everything up there uh, on, on the SSD. So I put it up on the cloud and that's fine. One day I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I think something happens like uh, the uh, internet goes out for a second or something like that. Everything on my desktop disappears. Wow. Now don't think that that doesn't make you feel vulnerable. You know, that I'm dependent upon my service going to their cloud and getting all the information. And if somehow there's something wrong with their cloud or there's something wrong with my service here, I lose everything on my desktop. Well, everything on your desktop are shortcuts to the cloud, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, all that stuff is being stored up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those are shortcuts to your cloud. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, you I, go I, up and they're going to help you, right? What? <laughs> if you have that You're problem, funny, what do you do about it? Well, yeah, I give them a call and they say, oh, we're more than happy to help you, sir. Did you unplug it and plug it in? Yeah, but you yeah, unplug it and plug <laughs> it in. I always, <laughs> the first thing I ever say to these guys when I call them is, oh, by the way, I plugged it and unplugged it. Yeah. 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 You know, so, hello, uh, Bree. How are you? Uh, what? I'm, good. I'm just back from Barakai. From where? Barakai. Barakai. Same to you. Say so, yes, yeah, you and same to your. Did it hurt? Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Where's Barakai? Uh, it's probably one of the top five beaches in the world. Uh, oh. It's in the Philippines. Oh well, uh, too bad I never heard of it. You know, <laughs> screw me. It's the most. Go ahead, I'll write that down. Go uh, go to the beach in Barakai. Yeah. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Is it a nude beach or wheelchair access no, or what? They don't do that. Uh, I suppose they have wheelchair access. I guess I'm not sure. There's this guy we watch on the internet. His name is uh, Cash Jordan, and he dude, he goes around to apartments here in New York and does tours of them and shows you what you can get for so much money and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it, he's, he's funny. That's why we watch him. Well. He has a Japanese wife, and he, right now he's in Japan. And he's in Kyoto. And he's Good taking us now. everywhere to see Kyoto. And I looked at Marjorie this morning, and I said, you want to go to Japan? And she said, no, I don't think so. Because everything is kind of, Japan's kind of ugly, at least in the major cities. Really? I'll be there in November, so I'll let you know. Well, you know, everything, I'll tell you, the whole country, from one coast to the other, is nothing but vending machines. I would rather go well, there than am I, China. Am, wait, wait, listen, uh, Brian there is, is smiling when I'm saying this. Am I right, Brian? Yeah, no, no I've seen a lot of, a lot of uh, videos about it. And, yeah, my, the kids want to go yeah. to Japan, too. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's but, but it seems like it's very clean there. Yeah, very clean, and the people yeah. are very respectful. Well, their yeah. mother is their mother's from yeah, yeah, yeah. their mother's from Vietnam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that's really clean too. The well, uh, I, I, hear huh? I hear Vietnam spectacular. Huh? I hear Vietnam spectacular. Yeah, it's no, it's really really nice. And then they have um, they in Da Nang where she's from, they actually you know they have this this they have a river going through the city, and they have all this really nice tile and these statues, and they actually have. They have um, signs on there saying there's a reward if you find somebody trying to sell you something or, you know, like solicitation or littering. Um, so, yeah, they, they really keep keep the areas clear, that. really clean. That's a resort town. I can go there for about 30 bucks. Air, yeah, airplane. yeah, yeah. The, the money, 
yeah, mm-hmm. I am with my phone figuring out stuff and just like we were, we would go right to dinner on scooters and we'd go right to dessert and then there's like a list of desserts and I figure them out. I was like, that's 25 cents and that's 50 cents. And she says, well, which one do you want? I said, well, I want one of each. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, wait, 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 you said something about prostitution or something there? What? In the nine? Yeah, no, in, 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 in Vietnam or something like that. What'd you say the things you can't do? Brian? You can't. Uh... Huh? He, litter or sell it, stuff. It, it, it oh, and have litter. No, no solicitation, like, you know, trying to sell you something. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. To him, yeah, the only I, solicitation he knows is I a could cop. I pick is. up a woman for dessert then, right? Mine is in the gutter. No, they're, you know, they're trying to sell you something, and yeah, they can't, they, okay. can't they, so they don't want people there doing that, and they don't want people littering or, you know. Well, I don't so. want to pay for it, but I, a, a cute-looking Vietnamese woman for <laughs> dessert would be nice. Well, those are those are the. Well, I was looking. At, I was looking at a picture you put up of your wife, uh, uh, Brian, and she yeah. is gorgeous. You don't see it anymore. <laughs> don't tell her that. Huh? Yeah, but sometimes the most gorgeous are the most crazy. Well, there's a scale. For I've that. got news for you. All women are crazy. <laughs> okay. It says Zoom user entered the living the waiting room. I have no who? idea who this is. Who? It says uh, Zoom user entered the oh. waiting room. Uh, well, well I can, we're all I, Zoom I, users. I can just put on yeah. my camera. I can put on my camera. So Alex, you were mentioning. Wait a minute, uh, and let me let me just know. bring this person in. Hold on just a second. Let me bring this person in. Let's see what happens. Is it somebody we know? Somebody we don't want to know? Uh, it looks like they're not coming on fast enough, so it, it looks to me as though they are, uh, let's see here, nah, they're not uh, anything. Okay, nope. uh, re- remove, and I don't want to report so it to Zoom. The, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say? You were mentioning the, uh, the printer situation. And I have uh, HP laser, but it's black and white. And I had to get a color, color one. So I bought this HP, and but it doesn't work with my Mac. So I went out and bought a Canon. How does it that work? says it works? Says it works with Macs, but it only works with older Macs. And I got a newer Mac. Wait, so I've wait got a minute. Two... How, how how can you possibly buy an HP or any printer that doesn't work with a uh, with a Mac? I don't know. But these are like, you know, twenty, thirty, forty dollar printers. And so <clears> that one is from Thailand, the other one's from Vietnam. And uh, Are you sure they're <clears> HP? They don't work. Are you sure they're HP? Positive. I've got it right here. No, no, it may say HP on it. It may have all the things that Oh, make... it's HP. Really? Yeah, I mean I bought it at a legitimate store and it's it's got all the HP stuff. Yeah, yeah, there are printers that do not work with Macs. Well, listen, let me send you this one. It works. I had a Canon that didn't want to talk to the Mac either. You had a there Canon you go. That, really? I thought yeah, I, I also... It would, like it it would disconnect software, itself. It wouldn't respond it, it, to certain commands. It's, yeah. It's 2023. You know, you figure you just go, you pick up a printer. It's going to work with everything, everything. you know. They, they don't. No. And also, I agree with you. I, I totally do not want any product where they they make you pay a subscription in order to keep it. Uh, you know that because I, I will go I will go a, you know two or three weeks without using Adobe at all, and then I'll need it for like two or three documents, and then and then I don't use it again for a month, and they want me to pay monthly. Like uh, no, I'm not doing that. So <clears throat> you know. There are ways around that, and I tr- uh, I tried to look for a way, and there didn't seem to be. The only way is do not sign up for the HP Plus. Oh. Even, even though they give you an extra year of warranty, do not sign up for it. <laughs> then every uh, uh, every kind of uh, cartridge you put in there will work. Yeah, because I tried to do the Adobe freebie, you know, where you could edit some documents. Because I was trying to edit some banking documents. And 
it nags me every time now. When I try to read a document, it'll pop up and say, oh, you're out of time. And a little clock comes up and says, oh, you're out of time. And it says, you want to sign up? And I, I X out of it and close out of it. But every time I bring up a, an Adobe document, I know I can't do anything with it, but I needed to edit a document one one time and i had my free one week yeah but ever since then it's just been hassling the hell out of me and i just finally told the banker said you edit it send it to me to put this in it put that in it put this in it send it to me you do all the editing you got the big money (laughs) (laughs) uh right right yeah yeah just uh if anybody's has uh the effort wants to make the effort here's what i did i uh registered for a one unit class at a community college and I just I send Adobe uh, my my schedule, and I use the email they give me at the community college, and I pay a very low price every month for every piece of software they have. Yeah, because they have a student uh, student. Yeah, so I've been a student now. And then you never went for to five school? years. What? And then you never went to that class. Never. Oh man, what a uh, great! A idea. lot of the community colleges here in California are doing free free classes so you can just sign up for nothing yeah wow well, that's I yeah, don't sign up for as long nothing. as you can prove you're a student they will uh give you the 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 good software idea. that's yeah, a I did. good idea all i had to right? do all i had to do is send out my schedule and uh use the email that i got issued from the school which i never use yeah and oh, that's, that's what i sign in with on adobe and I have everything for $29 a month, and I use it a lot. So really? otherwise, though, it would have been way more expensive, like 60 something, I think. Yeah. Around here, you can, you, they will sell you. you want, if you want Adobe and you want to edit, and you just want it as a standalone, you can buy it for 10 bucks. Alex, I don't remember what it was. It wasn't 10 available. bucks. I know. I know it wasn't ten bucks. It was more than that, but I don't remember. Well, what it was. if you want to get, and I only needed it for a couple of documents. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't mind paying for some of this stuff. But here, here was the thing they found out years ago. It used to be that people would uh, take uh, software and uh, copy it. You know, yeah. Uh, it, it was pretty easy to be able to make a copy of some. Uh, program cd or whatever and uh, and and use it but what happened was is the prices starting it were really high like the 300 dollars i said per year for photoshop well if you could get a bootleg copy of photoshop you'd rather use the bootleg vo- uh, version of photoshop to hell with it right um but what happened was they suddenly realized a lot of these companies one of them especially, that if you just brought the price down, everybody would buy it rather than use a bootleg yeah. because they liked the idea of being uh-huh. able to have a copy of their own and, so, and not feel guilty either. So yeah, for a while kind of- there, a lot of companies were bringing the prices down and, and people were buying them like crazy. Plus they could get the support. But then they put the prices high again, and the people, I guess, are bootlegging them. I guess you can get bootleg. I haven't tried, but, you know. Is there bootleg right. out there, uh, uh, Bree, on things yeah. like Microsoft Word and so on? Oh, yeah. I, I sure 100% is. looked up Microsoft 365. I know a few places. Asia's the capital finish. of bootleg Wait a minute. software. Let Bree, let Bree finish, please. Well, yes, Bree. Oh, I thought he was uh, done. There are two places I can take a, a taxi, and I'd say one is 20 minutes, one is 30 minutes away, and they have it. You can just leaf through, you know, they have the, the big CD folders, Oops. and they have the, you just leaf through it and pick what you want. And uh, I don't do it because I still don't, I don't trust it. And plus, my company has all that stuff, so I just have to log into my company account. So I'm okay, but I'm saying yeah. it's there because I mean, when you go to countries around here, uh, certain neighborhoods, certain there's no way that <laughs> those those people, you know, there are people just one neighborhood over from me. They don't have laptops. They don't have, you know, they so they can't afford that. So when they get it and they use it, 
they, there's no way they can afford the regular rates of the world. So they, there's this sort of you know underground market to for them, and it's not because they they want to do that. It's it's just that they can't afford it. So, so where where are you now? Are you back in uh... <clears throat> back in Malaysia? I got to head down to Indonesia pretty soon, and then uh, back to the back to the Philippines, and then up to Japan. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Hello, uh, hello, Tony. I'm on the sofa with Pebbles. I'm listening to you with the Microsoft. I hate that they went to the subscription hours. Well, well, I, I, <laughs> the reason I only reason I hate it is because. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this question: How mm -hmm. many of you can actually feel an improvement in this year's? Microsoft <laughs> Word over last year's Microsoft Word. I don't, there's, no, there's no difference. I actually yeah, found there out isn't any my old software from eight years ago. I still had it on a CD of it. I was going to boot it. I was going to use it. I don't even have to pay for it anymore. Well, I mean, I could probably use a, a 10 year old version of Microsoft yeah, Word I had, I had and, and do just fine for what I need. Exactly. Well, you don't need it. <clears throat> you don't need 10 year old. The, ma I bought on Mashable. Thirty dollars, the 2021 version of Microsoft Office, and it's it's all standalone. You get all the things. It's only two years old. It was thirty bucks. Not bad. <laughs> oh really? Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, it's on Mashable. Why don't you, you just, just use go to Google Mashable? <clears throat> Mashable. Okay. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that, where, I that, got it on isn't that where that country music comes from? Mashable. Oh, that's Nashville. Oh, no. <laughs> Mash. Johnny Cash. I was watching Elvis before. What? I was watching the Elvis biopic. It was pretty, it was okay. Hey. I mean, Thanks for changing the topic, Tony. Oh, well, because you mentioned Nashville. That's why I was thinking of music. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. But anyway, so, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I, it, this is just the times we live in, you know, and, uh, Nobody, mm -hmm. it, it, I just wish people would come out with cheaper ways of doing things. I mean, what I hate, for instance, is that everything right now is raising their price. Everything. Oh, it's, yeah. Now, I don't, yeah. they're not doing it because they haven't got the business. They're doing it because they want more money. And all these streaming services that, hey, it would seem to be okay, you know. Uh, hey, Netflix, not bad at nine ninety five a month, right? All of a sudden, they keep raising it, raising it, raising it, raising it, and one of the, huh? What? One of the things I like, Alex, in the Philippines, they have these stores where if you just want one of something, mm -hmm. you can buy that. Mm -hmm. Like so, you, in the states, you go in and you you know you want. I I wanted to get a subscription to Athletic Greens. I wanted to try this. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know this. You you put it in water or something. You mix it. Supposed to be oh, it's, like, like, a, it's like a Gatorade type drink, right? Like a new drink? Yeah, something like that. I looked on Amazon and you have to buy like a week's worth or, or a month or something. Like I just want one or two. I just want to try it and see how it is. But no, you can't do that. But if you're in the Philippines, if you have a headache and you want one Advil, you can buy one Advil. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Try going, in, <laughs> try going into Walgreens and I, hey, uh, guys, I need to buy one Advil. No <laughs> way. Then I'm going to sell you one Advil. You know, but in the Philippines, absolutely. You need one, let's say that you need one <clears throat> shot of tooth. Let me ask you a you question. Could, Let me ask you a question. Would you buy just one Advil or would you buy a bottle? Usually my mom used to think too, you buy a bottle. Oh. Yeah, you got a headache. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to go, you know, you know something? I have another headache. I have to walk a mile to the store <laughs> yeah. to go buy an Advil. You can buy exactly. those packs of two at Seven Eleven and the little grocery stores. Yeah, well, you can buy them in packs of two. He's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. What about okay. the travel ones, Alex? Do they have? The, is that well, that's what we're talking about? Oh, okay. A, a well, we can't get out of the liquid gels here, so I have to go to the Philippines to get them. You know, the amount of things that wait a I minute, have you have to go all the way to the <laughs> Philippines to get one <laughs> gel cap. <laughs> One gel cat. I got everything over there. By the time you get there, the headache's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How's the rest? By the way, uh, you're in uh, Malaysia. How's the rest of the world looking at Donald Trump these days? <laughs> he doesn't really 
probably get much coverage here to tell you the truth yeah uh, i haven't seen him in the you know anybody talk about him for a long time just just kind of irrelevant for here yeah but i mean it's wow. so out of place for a a president to be charged with four indictments <laughs> you know i mean it's just not well, you know it's it's not yeah. it's never it's unprecedented in history and then he's getting more more support too is his, is his support up is it really he's 30 up? i think it's like 35 points above any of the next the next person wow yeah. something crazy oh, yeah i think he will win the republic he, he's not going to be there next week and they're going to sit there and talk about him all night mm -hmm. What do you mean he's not going to be well, there the next thing week? That, he's oh, not going to oh, be at the debate. He won't be at the debate next week. They were, they just made the announcement today. And and, and then they go, those guys are so debate. stupid. I, I don't know Republicans. He will win. Yep, easily. Well, he will yeah. win what? He doesn't need to be there. He will win. Like the, the he, could he, get, shoot, he could shoot somebody in Times Square yeah. and then video it, and he would oh, still yeah. get the nomination. Yeah. 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 And the more that they, they prosecute Dr. him, the higher his numbers will go up. Yeah. Well, I don't know if there isn't a limit to this. You know, I mean, in this case, he's actually being charged with RICO, yeah, which is cr organized crime. All Can right. I say but his group doesn't his group doesn't care. They, they don't see all of that side of it. All they see well, is him at the rally they're, they're, saying that the witch hunt. Their answer, their answer would be, see how organized he is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I say something, Alex? Yeah. What? what? I, just bought, I just bought a book on Al Capone. Alex, do you think they would vote for Al Capone if they'll vote for Trump? I mean, they would want a gangster in the White House, really. I hear the music playing. What music? The end of the show music. No, I'm I don't. Kidding. Not yet. I'm Al Capone. They they would vote for a gangster, the people. Well, that's they Trump. are. He is a gang. He's worse than a gangster right now. All this stuff and well, he's actually stupider because most of them wouldn't talk on a phone and get taped like you. That's would. right. But that's how stupid that is. is. Trump and Biden again? Really? Yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Um. I mean, I think and you'll probably disagree with me on this that that uh, Biden will win over Trump, but it's not much of a matchup so far as I'm concerned. You know, I mean, I I have to vote for Biden if I'm going to vote for anybody. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's really here we go again. It's the same same you know, game. I haven't heard a single story or anything about Kamala Harris in forever. Like, is she still there? Is Does she do, is she still vice president? Because I haven't heard of Pete, nothing, well, no story. I, I, to be honest forever. with you, to be honest with you, uh, look at other vice presidents. How many do you hear of? You know, they kind of sit there well, in the corner. They're waiting, changing. what they're doing is they're waiting for the big guy to die, yeah. you know? Because outside of that, they just, they where are they? They're at the Naval Observatory. They sit in the Naval Observatory and uh, watch TV all day. You know, they got nothing to do. Uh, and, he goes out and does a lot of speeches. They just not doesn't get much coverage. They give it a you know a couple yeah. seconds and then they move on to the next mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, right. the vice president never gets any any uh, uh, juice, as it were. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what these guys think they're going to do with this debate. Well, if they see the numbers. They see how how still they have such loyalty to his yeah. and to him. These guys are still going to go out on that, on that. And then, did you hear the uh, DeSantis guy? Like they they let uh, some email or something go out, and it was like the strategy, the top four things to do for for the uh, the debate. And they they talked about a few things, and it's like so stupid. Hmm. It's gonna be the Christie well, show. Then, He's gonna just it. rip him up. Well, it, it, Christie would rip him up if he were there. I think that's one of the reasons he's not going. What? In oh, is he words, not going either? With him, no, not going. Is, no, I'm talking about Trump, Trump. because Christie and oh. Trump has everything to lose by going to it, okay, yeah. and nothing to gain. Sure. So why should he go? Yeah, you know. 
He'll I mean, probably just have a, a simulcast on another channel with him. You want to you want to find out what Trump's opinion is about things? He never never had opinions anyway. You know. Yeah, they're not they're not gonna address anything. You know, they they may say that these guys may say all this stuff about homelessness and, and the economy and all that stuff, but Trump's gonna win and Trump is in addressing all that. The only thing he's addressing is how bad Biden is. Oh, that, his, that, his, his nothing's gonna ever get solved. The only thing his the only thing his campaign is about is Donald Trump. Yeah. He doesn't talk about any of the problems we've got and how he's going to solve them. He doesn't say, hey, here's what I'm going to do about the economy. He doesn't say a word. Isn't right. he the money guy? Yeah, shouldn't he have some ideas? No. <laughs> you watch his speeches, he doesn't say anything about anything. All he well, talks that? about is Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, and <laughs> endless use of the term witch hunt. Yeah. But at least he's going to end the uh, Ukraine yeah. war in 24 hours. Yeah, he oh, yeah. If he, he's yes. <laughs> he's going to end the what? He's, he's going to end the war in Ukraine in 24 hours. Yeah, he's going to. He's president. He's the country. It's called because he feels. It's called because he feels so bad about what's going on there. He will end everything, but only if he's president. Here's how he'll 24 end hours. It, how, here's how he'll end it. Have you heard the term capitulation? Yeah. Yes. So. Sure. Yeah. He's amazing. He's just amazing. But it's amazing. Hey, America is going to get what America gets. Okay? And whatever they get, they deserve. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I don't deserve it, but hey, I got to go down with the sinking ship, you know? So. It's just amazing that people like him. I just, it's just amazing to me. You know? Well, it's it's kind of odd. It's like a. You know how right? How do you think he'll go down? I asked my brother this. In, per, in like in history, how are they going to write about Trump? Is he going to be written about like comparable to like some of these tyrants like Stalin or because no. it's going to be bad? Well, it all depends. If he gets elected, he could. But he didn't uh, kill millions of people like Stalin. Not did. yet. Not yet. <laughs> Although you, you could, yeah, right. Or you could say he killed people on the southern borders of the United States. Yeah, and you could say he's responsible for a lot of COVID deaths, too. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, so, I mean, maybe he will. I don't know. Once they add up the numbers, who the hell knows? Yeah. You know, when it's happening, you think it's benign. But, you know, I'm sure people felt the same way about Stalin and all those people. Mm. Of course, you know, they appeased Hitler for years. I don't think the Russian people truly knew how evil Stalin was. Exactly. That's you know, what I mean. Because it was all you happening. Don't find behind out the, until later. It was all happening behind the walls of the Kremlin. Mm. Yeah. But I love it when when Stalin died. I hope the same thing happens with Trump. Uh, he's lying there with a I don't know. He had a hemorrhage or something like that. I can't remember mm. what it was. And he's lying there still alive. And they're all sitting around going, "You want to go get the doctor? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> which which one of us should go yeah. get the doctor? You think oh, malaria? You think malaria is going to call? Yeah, hey, malaria is going to call nine one one. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. No, so. my phone's dead. Yeah. Your phone yeah. dead? <laughs> I can't find the eleven on the phone. Gee. But no, but they, that's what they did with Stalin. Yeah. They all sat around. In fact, there's a very funny movie called The Death of Stalin, and it really? it, it made it makes a comedy out of that. Mm. But it was true. Really? Wow. Melanoma is just going to be like, which doctor do we call? <laughs> the proctologist. Hey, where is she lately? She's not with him at all, Alex. Mm. Yeah. 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 She's excommunicated. I think she's in New York. I think they, they don't want her to say anything. Because, she, yeah, she's not going to say nice stuff. I don't think she wants to say anything. She doesn't want to be indicted. Well, anyway, I'm going to put the theme on here, which none of you can hear, so I have to tell you that it's playing. But if you want to hear it, watch the rerun, okay? Uh, but uh, it's been a, been a nice hour. Yeah. Spent it in the talking about uh, things that gripe us in this world and how commerce is going to all kinds of crap. Uh, and uh, it, it doesn't get any better, to tell you the damn truth. But I don't want to depress you. Thank you so much, Brian, for being here tonight. Boy, you, you got color in your face, my friend. Yeah, I know. As does Jeff. Jeff has color in his what face. Mm. Uh, uh, is that color in your face? Uh, is it, uh, uh, Alan? 
Well, He's I'm, just, yeah, just yeah, bashful. Well, I, I actually have rosacea, and I thought Jeff had the same thing. Oh, well, that's better than... That, that's that's a, a, a Jewish man's tan. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you to uh, Kevin. Always good having you here, Kevin. Hey, and Bree. This is great. You know, we get somebody from Malaysia. Uh, and uh, also, uh, who else? Who disappeared there? Somebody disappeared. Anyway. Brian. Uh, Brian disappeared. Yeah, oh, Brian disappeared. Okay. Tony, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Ray, thank you for being here. And uh, if you'll all give a big wave goodbye, yes. I'll, I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay? Okay. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, let me get the theme up here and let me do a wave and then let me put my camera on I'm still learning how to do this folks after all these years anyway uh, thank you people uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same station he'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live I'll be back again tomorrow night same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her tell her I love her okay Bye-bye, everybody.